Thank you. Yeah, I think that's a great question. Um, why the Voyager projects? My whole life, really, um, I've been fascinated with this world, you know, this world beyond the flesh. And I, um, I got into a church environment early on after, you know, my difficult teenager years. And that's kind of when my spiritual journey began. And I have just been a, a seeker my whole life, just really wanting to understand what's happening beyond this human experience. Why am I here? You know, we ask those questions a lot. And for me now, it's really about trust. You know, we are we are thrust onto this earth and we are forced to learn trust and it's not easy. And the Voyager Projects was really born out of my own yearning and longing to know what my calling was. Why am I here on this, on this earth? And um, so I, I just really, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this world beyond my flesh. This, this world of spirit, it's a relationship, you know? And if, if you look at our culture and how it's changing, I think COVID really changed us. You know, we, we, um, we suffered together and what had, so many things have been born out of um, this collective suffering and um, all the changes that have happened in our world because of it. But more than ever, I think people, we are asking, um, why are we here? And so, uh, you know, people are pursuing, um, no, you know, their, the career of their life is, 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 is no longer the, the focal point. It's more, what, what am I called to do? And we, we're looking for a much more fulfilling existence and um, so for me, I, I, I'm fascinated with the fact that 10 people, 10 of us, we came together from all over the globe and we're telling our stories, our personal stories of spiritual evolution. And what this book has, has really revealed to me so far is we're all telling a very different story of our spiritual some spiritual experiences that we've had, and we have them all the time, you know? It's a relationship with spirit. It's a relationship with God. It's a relationship with the universe or our spirit guides, whatever you want to call it. And some of it is unbelievable. And yet, yet you take these 10 people and we share these stories and you realize there, there was no agenda. The only thing I said was, let's write. Whatever your personal story of spiritual evolution is, write it. There was no plan other than that. And when you look at all the stories and how unique they are, how different they are, yet the there's a common thread. Um, maybe you, you heard a voice. Maybe you were told something. Go here, do this, have this relationship, have this experience, end this pattern, whatever it is. It's, um, it's fascinating to be a part of. And I want to find the people in the world who are willing to talk about their spiritual experiences. They, they're very unique. And I feel that heaven has a language all of its own, and it isn't limited to church culture. You know, church culture limits this powerful spirit and this God. It's, it's so limiting. And I just wanna blow the hinges off of all of the limitations that we put on that experience. And uh, so, I don't know, that's why, <laughs> that's why the Voyager Projects is uh, something that we have to do. We have to share our personal stories of spiritual evolution because my story changes your story and your story changes my story. And at the end of the day, we learn that we can trust in the world behind our eyes. We can, we can trust it. Something is really happening here beyond the flesh. And I wanna be a part of it in a collective way. And so this is my, my way of maybe introducing the new chicken soup for the soul. But now it's the Voyager Projects. So, 
Come along for the ride. You're, you're invited.